What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to droidlife.com. What I'm going to do today is show all of you out there looking to revert back to stock 2.0.1 from Cyanogen 5053. I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay, there's been a ton of questions that come out, and after we posted the ROM manager um, update yesterday that now allows you to flash SP recovery, now we're getting a ton of questions. So I'm just going to go ahead and do this so you guys can see exactly how to do it. Um, what we're going to do is start with ROM Manager, flash SP Recovery, and then we're going to go into Droid Mod Updater and go back to stock that way, okay? <clears throat> you guys owe me one big because I really don't want to ditch my Cyanogen Mod, but I've seen enough questions out there that we got to make sure we do this so we got you guys all covered. So anyway, here we go. First thing we do is open ROM Manager. Okay, you need to make sure you have the newest one available. Um, if you don't, it probably won't let you do this. So go into market first, go to raw manager and make sure there's no updates available. Okay. Next thing we do is open it up and just go down here to flash alternate recovery. It says, you sure you want to? And we just say yes. And it should start running up there, giving us a little status. Shouldn't take too long. And you can see it cruising along there. So let that finish up. And there we go. Okay. So successfully flash recovery. Okay. So now we have SP recovery installed. You can go ahead and click home now. And you're going to make sure you need to have the droid mod updater. And we'll put a link to that on the blog. Um, so go ahead and open that now. And it might prompt you for access. And if it does do that, all you got to do is hit that little box and then click allow. And we should be able to move forward from there. Okay, didn't work first time. Let's try that one more time. DM updater. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> okay, so didn't prompt me with anything because I already got SP recovery installed. Hopefully it understands that. Okay, the next thing I need to do then is just click latest ROM. And then I click stock 2.0.1 no root. Okay, so if I tap that, it should uh, should prompt me a couple of times and then it's going to just boot right up. So, okay, we are ready to flash ROM, so let's go flash. And it's going to reboot the phone. And it should boot up into uh, SP Recovery and it should start flashing over 2.0.1. Okay, there we go. You can see there, verifying update package, installing. Um, I already have these files installed on my SD card, so some of you might actually take a second to download all of those. Did I say install? I have them downloaded on my SD card already, so it might take some of you a few seconds or a couple minutes to download them. Um, but otherwise, should just whip right through this. Okay, so that got finished up. We're rebooting now. And basically we should be back to uh, 2.0.1. Um, the one thing we are gonna have to do is probably uh, boot into recovery and uh, do a data wipe, cache wipe, because we're going from Cyanogen, which is a 2.1 build, back to a 2.0.1 build. So there's some things that are you know probably gonna be a little funky there. So once this boots up, it might not work completely like it, you know, we want it to. And there was our little vibrate, so that means we should be booting back up any second now. For you, those of you that think it gets stuck at the red eye, that doesn't actually happen all that often. If you're patient, everything should be fine. Okay, so we boot back up, you can see we're definitely back to uh, 2.0.1, okay? So there's a couple of things we want to do now. You can see the uh, Voice search is missing up there, so if we go into options, settings, and I've showed you this a bunch of times, but we'll show it to you one more time. I'm actually going to check that box real quick. But we go into settings, uh, applications, manage applications, and you want to find, let's see if we can find her in here, this one right here, com.google.android.voicesearch. Go ahead and tap on that. Go ahead and uninstall it, say OK, and OK, and from there we should be, 
Should be done. Okay, we'll hit home again. Since we're frozen, it looks like. Oh yeah, see, home button doesn't work, so that's why we gotta do our factory wipe. Okay, so now go ahead and turn your phone off. Power off. Sorry about that. So, to get back out of there, I had to hit the back button a whole bunch because one of the things that's disabled right now is my soft keys, okay? So now we're gonna go ahead and boot into recovery. Hold X and power till the screen flashes. Let go of power, continue holding X. And this is gonna boot into the stock recovery now. This is not gonna be an SP recovery or clockwork or anything like that. So you're just gonna get this. And remember when we get the exclamation mark, we go camera up button and I'm sorry, volume up and camera button at the same time. Okay, <clears throat> and from here we go to wipe data factory reset. Okay, click that, go all the way down to yes. Click that, let it go through that. Just has a few steps to go through. And this is basically how you return it to a brand new factory stocked droid. Okay, and then the next thing we're gonna do is go down and wipe cache. Cache, formatting cache, you can see there, done. Next option is just to reboot the phone. So we'll go ahead and reboot it. You can close that up. And we should be booted back up to a stock 2.0.1 droid, no root, no cyanogen, stock recovery, stock everything. So you should receive your OTA update. And like I said, you guys, okay, there's a little vibrate down there. Hope you guys know what I'm talking about when I say a little vibrate you get when, uh, and there we go. So back to stock. So I'm going to go ahead and log in. All right, as you can see, I went through the entire activation process and I am officially back to 2.0.1. Just show you really quick about phone down here. Firmware 2.0.1 baseband version 3E01P. And there we go. So, like I said, this is not that difficult to do. Um, you just gotta follow those steps. Um, as you can see, I also do not have Super User Ninja on there. So, completely back to stock. Um, no live wallpapers, only three screens anyway. So, uh, that's how you do it. If you guys have questions, drop them at the blog. Everyone's helping each other out in the comments these days, which I love. Please keep that up, that's awesome. And uh, we'll try to get you through it, but if you follow those steps, should go through with no problem. Anyway, droid-life.com, peace.